Hey guys, so in this video what I'm going to do is create uh, stairs from Sketch. And you may want to do this if you're trying to do something a little bit more complicated or um, the, the allow flexibility in sketching kind of um, allows you to create something a little bit better or easier. This may be an option for you. So to start it off, there's two ways to do it. You can do it, you can sketch the lines beforehand um, with model lines or you can go into the command and sketch those lines as well. Now, if you do do that, if you go into the command, into the stairs command, you'll get this dialog box, and you'll have the opportunity to create the run, The um, or actually, sorry, if you jump into the sketch, you can create the boundary, the riser, and the stair path. Um, now, if you have boundary selected, you can draw that. If you switch to riser, you can draw the riser, and you can see the counts that uh, you have. So we have eight risers we can add to this. The problem with this is you can't really array things, and you may accidentally, like in this command, draw a boundary, because you by default it's set to boundary. So you may actually get in there and start drawing a boundary on accident when you actually mean to draw um, uh, risers. So generally what I try to do is, if we close this out, we can jump to model lines on the architecture tab and we can draw it that way. So what we'll do is we'll just draw um, a stair path. So right now we're drawing the boundary. So I've created that. I can select on this and go up to offset and we'll just do it by three feet. I'm going to select that and bring it in. So I'm going to do MV for move. I'm going to go into this, make sure that that's where it's supposed to be. So those are our, our boundary lines. So now what we're going to do is come in here and create our risers. So I've drawn one riser and now what we're going to do is array that. So we can come up here to the array tool select on that. Um, but before we do, let's turn on the center mark for this arc. So with that selected, we can come over here to the left, turn on center mark. We can go in here, grab that riser. And then what we're going to do is array it. And we've got to move that little, uh, little dot. So we'll move it down here to the center mark. And now, um, now it's set to the second, and do make sure that it's a, a radial array. And then it's set to the second, so what we'll do is just kind of move this over. And um, it doesn't really matter, but uh, for this example, and let's just type in um, eight, which is what we need. All right, so we have eight, so we'll finish that, um, the, the boundary. We'll connect it to this riser. We'll do the same over here. And that's really all we have to do. So now we have this all set up. I'm going to get rid of these groups. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to click on those model groups and, and ungroup those. And now uh, what we'll do is go back to the architecture tab. We'll click on stair, and then we'll do by sketch. And we're going to select that boundary. So we'll do pick lines, pick that boundary, pick that as a boundary. And now we have to do the same for the risers. So we'll go in there, tab into that one, pick on that. And then when you're finished um, with that, you jump over to the stair path. And we'll just use something like this. We'll come down here, click on that. We'll go straight up and then actually click on that again and we'll come right here to that center point of that first riser and then we'll just pull that down we'll make sure to extend this out and then we'll click OK now let's go into 3d view and see if everything looks correct so you can see this is actually backwards it's really easy to fix so what we could do is select on that stairs while we're still in the command. But if you do click um, accept, you can switch it then too. So you can see here, it's still backwards. So what we can do is go back into it, edit, you know, into the edit stairs, and then we can flip it. So really easy to do. Then when you're done with that, you can click okay, and now you see the railings. 
So now what we're going to do is do uh, one more. And so we'll go into the model lines and we'll do this one pretty quick. We'll click there. And then um, let's just, let's draw this line just like, let's do three feet. So we'll do three, enter. And then let's find that center point, draw that. And then we'll do mirror. So we can select on that, come up to uh, mirror, pick that um, center line, and then we can delete those. Um, we'll leave that one because that's our first riser. But these two right here are our boundary. And now what we'll do, do is array this. So we can tab into that. We'll come up to array. And this time we're going to do a linear array. And um, we need eight. We know we know that we need eight risers because this is going to go up to the second floor. Um, and what we'll do is do the second point. So we'll come in here. And I think it's one and six inches. So which is not what we want to do. So I'm going to go back in and we'll fix that. So what we'll do is tab back into that, select it, come back up here to array, and then we'll make sure everything looks correct. We'll just change this to eight. So there you go, now we have our eight um risers in there i'm gonna click escape and we'll just ungroup these and now uh if you click tr or if you come in here and click on this you can find the trim command i'm gonna click tr and we can we'll select this boundary line and then trim that up to that first riser Select this one and then that first riser again. And now we can grab these and pull them out. It really depends on what's quicker for you because you can also select on this and then come up to um, um, uh, extend single element or extend multiple elements. Uh, make your first click is that one. And then what we can do is actually grab all these at once and extend them. And then what we'll do is select that other element um, actually, sorry, let's pull that back out and then let's come back up here, extend that first, pick that boundary line, then pick all the risers and then there you go. Everything's extended. So now what we got to do is draw that, um, um, uh, the, the line in the middle, so the direction of that stair. So we'll, what we're going to do is jump back into this stair command and start picking our boundary and our um, risers and then our, our um, stair path. So we have boundary selected. We'll jump over here, select, oops, go back on that. Select this boundary and then this um, other boundary and go to risers and do the same thing we did before. Now we're going to come up here and draw the stair path. We'll click that line. We'll just pick a, the center point there. And then down here, we may need to flip this. Uh, so we'll click OK. And then we'll go into a 3D view and kind of see what's going on before we close um, the stair command. We can see we need to flip it. So we'll just flip that real quick. And now we have our stair. So really easy to do. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if I missed anything or if you want to see anything else. Uh, but I appreciate your time. Thanks a lot for watching.